I mentioned on uh, Sunday that um, uh, mother was from Northern Ireland and we spent lots of summers out there as children uh, with all our relatives and so on. And um, a few years ago I had a lovely run along the Antrim coast. Um, beautiful, beautiful run. And uh, I was able to gather a lot of material. And so I thought, um, well, we'll spend a bit of time um, doing a, a scene. This is Dunwich Castle, uh, iconic view really. And um, so I'm doing a, a quick painting. I want to get it atmospheric. Uh, if I can, so let's have a look here. So I'm doing it very quickly, like I do with the skies. It's acrylic, and uh, uh, I, I normally come over the sky a few times and just establish, first of all, where um, I want the lights in the sky, the darks, and so on. And I think you know, that'll just be the base on which I will I'll work for now. I, I'll, I'll come back probably and, and get. Um, some other colours in here once it dries, but well, I might I might do a bit now. I'm mixing some light red with with some ultramarine blue, and that's going to warm that sky up a little bit, uh, so it's not too cold. So, so again, you you change all the time. It's all intuitive. You uh, put something on, and then you think, oh, that's that's not really working. And come on, what's got to be done? And, and you you feel your way all the time. And I've said painting is all about mistakes, making mistakes and um, uh, corrections. And uh, and people get daunted uh, so, so easily, you know, um, so easily when it comes to um, to painting. So that's enough for the big brush. Now. I'm going to go to a smaller brush now. And um, let's, let's have a look. I'll, uh, in fact, I'll go to a smaller one again just to get the profile of um, the castle in. And that's all I'm looking for at the moment. I'm just looking for the profile uh, at the top and where the darks will be. And this might be appear too dark, but it'll all be adjusted. And, um, and like I say, that's the... Um, so I'm just looking for what are distinctive sort of... Uh, features uh, in profile that I can come back and I can work on and um, there's uh, we'll get some light by there and we'll come back more on light by there as well and um, that'll just be the profile which will be all that I need for now and what I might do is just get I think I've got enough time obviously with Facebook my time is limited Dave from the art class, class goes on to it and puts it all together, edits it, and then it's all in one on YouTube. So if you wanted to see it in one complete, then go on to Andrew Bowden Art Class uh, on YouTube. And when you go in, you'll see different videos I've done, some go back some years. And um, you'll... Uh, yeah, so look, I'm, I'm only looking for sort of basic shapes. That's all I want. I, I, the light, I know roughly where I'm going to want the light coming. And um, so I can build on all all of this. And, and this really will be will be just the profile of the castle. Things that I know I can work on. And, and there we go. Here we are again with the Danish castle. And... Um, I've just worked on the areas I'd covered very broadly in the earlier session. And now I just want to get a bit of the uh, foreground in. And um, again, keep it broad, broad strokes. Um, how cool is this? I'm going to keep it a bit better, I think. Roughly, I want the rocks, they change depending where you stand. Can't be slavish. You've got to just think, right, what will make a good composition? And so let's, um, let's have a look and get some rock colour in here a bit. So I'm just mixing a bit of everything, really. It's on here just um, as a base colour. Um, job to say what colours I'm using, really. Uh, the 
palette's a bit of a mess, so I'm just putting a few colours together. I want a brownish sort of blue, basically. And, um, like I say, well, you just want to get these more or less in shape that you think, all oh, right, that composition is working. And I think that might, I might just do that. And we'll do the same here. We've got rocks that tumble out here uh, into this sort of cove. And I think, I think that might do it. Now what I'm going to do is go and contour a thinner brush now. And let's get a little bit of uh, colour in here. So actually I, I'm mixing like an off sort of green. Uh, again, it's from what's already on the palette. And... Um, and just little bits here and there, so you know, give it a bit of colour. Then what I might do, I'm going to mix a, a morph. So I'm using cadmium red with ultramarine blue, then some white. Get this sort of mauveish colour. And let's have a look. Yeah, just a bit. Could do it to be a bit darker actually. And let's have a look. There we go. There we go. So we're uh, nearly there. Oh no, I will get a good dark now. So I'm using light red with ultramarine blue, which will give a good dark. Let's have a look. There we go. Give it this side. When this dries, I'll get all the crags in and uh, make it more convincing by way of rock. But for now. So all I want to do now is get this sort of reflection a bit in. Uh, let's work on this a little bit. Let's get more of a blue in here for now. And then we can work on that. There we go. I'll get the same here too, I think. Right, okay. Now let me get the rigger brush with the white. And let's just get this in here. Just a steady hand. I'm sort of leaning my wrist. I always keep my wrist straight and firm against against the Pichard box and it's the actual then hand that moves not the wrist it's just the that stays the same I'm sure it's steady I'm going to get that in there behind these rocks I'm going to get something similar in here and I'll be tidying all this up again anyway it's pretty rough at the moment but um, let's have a look. Keep a steady hand. Right, okay, let's. Okay. Tighten up those a little bit. Right, okay. Now then, let's get a little bit of reflection in. But only suggestion, you don't want much with this. So I'm going to make a green, yellow, ultimate blue, quite on the darker side. Let's have a look and see if this will work. Yeah, that, that, that'll be alright for now. So it's only a suggestion of rough shape of what is here. Nothing much more than that, basically. And a little bit down here, too. I just push that down there. And really, that's about it for now. Just, um, and you'll see the finished painting, I will have tackled all of this and got um, a bit more detail in here. But there we go. The finished painting of Dunnus Castle. Um, uh, yeah, um, some years ago when I was a minister in Emmanuel in Cardiff, I had a phone call 
to come over to Northern Ireland and preach in a chapel in Ballyclare, in a church in Ballyclare, and take harvest services over a long weekend. And the minister, um, Chris, uh, uh, sorry, Steve Rogers, uh, at the time, uh, agreed to take me out for a run. And we went along the Antrim coast, and I was able to get a lot of sketches then for paintings. And it's so, so impressive. And a wonderful time out there, because um, a lot of family out there. My mother was uh, born, brought up in Northern Ireland, and uh, all my cousins and uncles and aunts were out there. And yeah, so it was great. I was able to catch up with everybody, and we had a wonderful evening. All the family, about 40 of us all together, catching up on things. So um, great. It was a wonderful time. Now, see, if I take this out, it's only six by eight inches on a, on a bit of mountain board. Um, put them in this frame here. If I can uh, have a look here, yeah, you might see. Let's see what, what, if we can get that better. Let's have a look. There we are. So yeah, so that's in a in a small frame, and, um, and but how effective that can be. I'm going to paint large. So you just paint smaller paintings, and um, uh, it's surprising how uh, effective um, you know that that can that can be.